lost this war before you started, fool. Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with. Be you so mighty to turn the trick here at your service. And welcome back to Dawn of War 2 Chaos Rising for our fourth stream of this, if my count is correct. <laughs> uh, I really should just keep a note, a sticky note, up on my desk or something with the numbers. <laughs> but I'd probably still forget about them. Yeah, I can check. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, uh, two days ago was number three, I believe. So yeah, next month before. And yeah, last time uh, we got our hands on some very powerful armor, it is and correct. we got into the uh, the Space Hulk. Right. 
And uh, yeah, we got into the Space Hulk where we found a bunch of people who are... Well, we found a bunch of corpses who of people who are still alive. So there's definitely some, <laughs> some shenaniganery going on. And now that we're out, we've got some uh, messages incoming. So let's have a listen to what uh, Martellus has to say. The following transmission is repeating on secure chapter channels. Come, Blood Ravens! Face me in battle if you dare! I am Aragost of the Black Legion! I await you on Aurelia! The scum is challenging us like an Undercity pit fighter. If he wants a battle, I will give him one. This must be a trap. Does it matter? <laughs> yeah, they're going to run into it anyways. And Rosa is calling for help. Commander, the Vandis heretics are gaining ground hourly. Captain Angelos has sent no blood ravens to aid Meridian. We need... I need your help. Please come to Meridian as soon as you can. DeRosa out. Okay, the only balancing on that was a, a much better. You could even hear a little bit of echoing. You know, I'm not sure if that was intentional. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Last time we got our hands on this, the Blessed Cage. I'm not even sure if this was supposed to drop or not. But yeah, we now have some very powerful Terminator armor that should deal with any corruption that we deal with. Luckily, though, everyone should still be uncorrupted. Hold I almost up. clicked what on was the... That thing you had in your hand? Hmm? What? Oh, the... that's a big bayonet. Yeah, that's the corrupted cruelty of Jeffros. Which, well, obviously the chaos weapons are going to, well look more chaos -y with a skull on top and such. <laughs> but yeah, since that's only plus two corruption and the armor is plus three, uh, even if he were to be corrupted, he would still lose corruption with each deployment, as long as, well, the redemption and corruption on the mission itself would remain about the same. So, oh yeah. I guess we're going to use it only if we find a better gun. Yep. Let's see, 70 damage, should still be good. The Power Fist still has Vehicle Stun, so that's also very good. Now, Tarkus, let's give you the Nelta again. Wait, hmm? you literally use it to punch tank? Yep, and it disrupts their circuitry enough to stun them for a bit. <laughs> okay, that gonna make sense, but bloody heck is it risky. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, we've read that one already. Yeah, it, it. I probably should have started with reading out the 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 lore on the when we got it instead of trying to figure out which bit is which and such. Yeah. Ugh, pardon. <clears throat> now let's see. Baddies are still a bit behind. So is Thule. We might want to bring up some people who are less leveled just to give them some levels to work with, instead of just going with Tarkus, Avatus, and Thule all the time. Then again, Thule is still behind on level as well. Uh, let's see, we have Relics of Space. Okay. An optional mission that we have two days on left on. Is there anything else temporary going on? We've got Lord of Chaos. Capital Defense, two days, and then we have nothing over here and here. Okay, that means that we can either do one of these two and lose one of them if we wait until the end, or we do them now, or and then do the one the other one next. Otherwise, they're going to run out of time. So let's do that yeah. instead of chasing after the main mission. Yeah, let's do that for uh, the op the To be smart, it's good for us to take as many optional missions as possible for as much loot and levels as possible. Yeah. We have located the store of reductor vials left aboard the Judgment of Carrion. Recovering additional Blood Raven's genetic material would be a great service to the chapter. Demons and Xenos of all sorts infest this vessel, however, and it still resonates with warp energies. Returning to the Judgment of Carrion is entirely at your discretion, Commander. Okay. What of the dangers of the warp energies? You will automatically teleport back to the Retribution after a fixed amount of time. This should prevent you from becoming trapped and limits exposure to the maddening effects of the warp. Okay, so no uh, staying too long, gaining corruption, but it does put a hard time limit on the mission. 
And uh, yeah, Joe now wants to come along, and Zula yeah. has something to say as well. Yeah. I cannot forego an opportunity to recover Blood Raven Gene Seed. This could allow the chapter to grow strong again. With respect to Captain Thule, this Space Hulk looks like a death trap. Surely all the Blood Ravens who died there also thought they could secure the chapter's future. He has a point there. <laughs> Commander, I have a request. Every librarian swears to protect the relics and histories of the chapter. Leaving this vessel unexplored feels like a violation of that oath. I would ask to join you on this mission. Okay. Let's see. Bonus intelligence. Substantial biomass is detected near the reductor valves, likely a tuned brood nest. And structural collapse has blocked many passages. Search for, it's for alternative passages. And we get a new spell for Jonah. Uh, or actually, no. Reduce. Oh, no. Greater Oath of Penance. Reduce corruption by eight. Affects all squads. Okay. Yeah, that would be a good way to get rid of oh. a good amount of corruption. Yeah, though, who should we switch him out with? Uh, I think we can swap Thaddeus out, though Tarkas will get the flamer back then. Since, well, close quarters, lots of infantry. Okay, there. Thaddeus, there. Jonah, up front. Now, is there anything better that we can equip you with? Let's see, any armor? 54, 60, enhances vanish. 62, reactive teleports. Mm -hmm. Plus 75 energy, that's quite a bit. He has 400 already, but that's still like almost a fourth extra. Let's actually give you that for the moment then. Wait, read the red line. No control over... Yeah, it's... That's the reactive teleport where enemies get teleported away. Oh. Uh, let's see. Tome of Force. Yeah, that's the Force Dome. It protects against range damage. I don't think that's going to be too useful since this place is probably going to be filled with Tyranids who prefer to get up close. And then we <laughs> fucking fireball. Let's see. There was one of these... That's... Increase movements and attack speed. Yeah, let's put that on. We'll use that on other squads. And I think that's about actually weapons. Weapons. We want you to stay at range, as unlikely as it will be with Tyranids still. Hmm. Also, we can get rid of. Is that a named one? No. Which of these is stronger? 82 is only a small difference. Okay. <clears throat> well, here we go then. <laughs> you don't have much time. The danger posed by exposure to the lingering warp energies aboard the Judgment of Carrion has grown since your last expedition. You cannot risk staying on board for longer than the given window of time. Because of this, you will be immediately extracted and the mission aborted if the time limit elapses. You may be able to attempt another expedition later, however. Okay. Every second spent aboard this accursed derelict puts us at risk. We must recover the gene seeds quickly. Okay, it's a different map, so no repeats already. Okay. Tool can just punch a hole where needed. And we have 20 minutes. Okay. <laughs> complete whiff there, but oh well. My power is ours. On my way. Uh, I'm going to read up on the... Oh, we got some details about the gene seeds. For example, why they are... I know they can make new ones, but... With difficulty. Yeah, it has to be difficulty or risk of a... Uh, Corruption. Oh no, it's a case that they have lost much information about how to make proper gene seeds without getting them. Joda, why the hell are you getting up close? Uh, you're set to. Okay, he was set to melee attack even though he has a ranged weapon. 
Okay, um... Through here, I'm guessing? Does he even fit through that? Tarkus? And there's a hive tyrant. Okay, Jonah, make a quick... Can you make a shortcut here? Okay. I wonder, can I use... A, oh, that's just a general use. <laughs> okay, I thought I could aim that at someone, but no. And it's an AO... Okay, it's an aura. Okay. Well, I suppose it is. I did, I did mention that the Hive Guard are a result of them encouraging using Space Marine DNA. Okay, yeah, you did say that, yeah. Space that even the gene seeds. Okay. That, that explains why there's so many here. Yeah, but uh, once they come, they probably uh, able to learn the score that says they have probably eaten less a few space movies to begin with. Probably, yeah. <laughs> okay. Mow that area, Tarkus, get a grenade in there, you, why are you standing there? Okay, well that dealt with them all. Okay, Tarkus is pretty hurt, but he should still be good at these things again. Okay, just mow those things down. We want to get past them quickly. Where's Jonah? Yes, Jonah. Okay. Uh, some green seeds. I think they heard mentions that the Inquisition and the Imperial in yellow try to keep that information secret. Yeah, there's a lot of things that they try to keep secret. Yeah. There was something, something, there was something getting teleported. Okay. Ooh, rippers. And, uh, maybe don't be, it would be quite a lot of panic if people got to hear that the tyrannies have been able to use the, uh, the DNA of the uh, uh, angels of death in the space for years. Yeah. Okay, that was a big hit. Okay. Okay. Jonah, turn that off. And the rest of you move forwards. I think, we, yeah, we have plenty of time for this unless we run into a full-on roadblock. But yeah, Jonah can be really powerful, but you do need to micromanage him a bit. So, so you will repair yourself for a bit. Carcass, grenades. Okay, so we'll mow that down. Okay, luckily, luckily, Jonah does have that fuck up AOE. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, the fact that he can actually be used as a healer is also really nice. It's just that I typically, uh, I typically get distracted too easily keep, to keep too much track of him. Fucking <laughs> fireball. Another gene seeds. Okay. No power is Let's see, how much health does everyone have? 1300, 1400, not even 400. Yeah, he is squishy. So that is also to be kept in mind. Tool. Yep. I was, up. I was expecting. I was expecting a Carnifax. Jonah, move away. 
fireball them. Oh, yep. <laughs> Wrong button. There's the fireball. Man, that Indian. Yeah, of course, Tyranid. Yeah, the lovely smell of burnt Tyranid in the morning. <laughs> okay, seems we attracted the attention of another group. Uh... Tarkus. Two. Okay, it's still easier to just use the med pack, but it, but his heal does work for a quick in between. There. And yeah, just in, in general, he is powerful, but I'm just not good with micromanaging. We go deal with these. Jonah, fire all there, big please. Tarkus, get a grenade in the path of those. Oh, he got knocked away. Okay. Still managing. Yeah, again, we're playing on easy, but to, well, to keep things manageable, but to, if, if we were on the higher difficulties, it would, well, I would be getting my ass kicked likely, and speaking of ass kicked, it's <laughs> across the room. <laughs> Okay, so use your oversized lawnmower. Why are you set to melee? Okay, I must have accidentally hit a button somewhere. No. Actually, uh, there. That should help. Okay, might want to move away a bit. There we go. Fate of Galen. And we've missed a gene seed, or is there it's in one of these boxes? And of course, there's bloody eggs. <laughs> like the, like freaking xenomorphs. Okay, Tarkus. Okay, where's, where is the last one then? Okay, I really must have missed a box or something, or is it being carried by one of these? I mean, that lower thing is not the Yinzi? Yeah, that's a. <clears throat> it's a beacon. Oh! Got that? Yeah, that must be some coffee mist. Yeah. Okay, I thought the I thought the force commander was selected there because the camera was focusing on them. Let's turn this back on. Oh, that. Okay, that must be <laughs> carrying it. Okay, so. Oh, great. Hi. Okay, place the high tyrant, the boss, when the carnivax is. Oh, well. Uh, you go pick a fight. Jonah, get out of there. Zool, heal. Okay. Uh, Jonah burned this thing. Oh, you can't target it? No, because it's already dying. <laughs> okay. Burn that thing. 
Zul, Moet, you getting close. Well, that was easy since it was already hurt, apparently. There we go. We have the gene seed samples, Commander. This deed will make our chapter stronger. Okay, that was simple enough. But yeah, one one thing that's different with this game, with this, uh, yeah, with this game's version of the uh, optional things, is that most of them actually have some, well, more than just defend this or kill off those. There's actually greater importance to the story. And yeah, the greater oath of penance, swearing an oath to atone for past sins through a lengthy crusade of penance, the space marine returns to the path of the righteous. One okay. use only. Yeah. And yeah, I think I've said before that this game does have multiple endings. They aren't too different from each other. Well, it's more of a spectrum. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, what depends... Uh, the, the thing that uh, determines the, the ending that you get is actually the amount of corruption in the squad. Let's see. Almost everyone got a level except for Tarkas. And let's see. Oh, the fate dear. of Galen. Oh, donate this item to unlock a lore entry in the campaign log. Plus five corruption to all squads. Additional records from Galen's expedition aboard the Judgment of Carrion, telling of his and his brother's descent into madness. Reading these records will reveal additional insight into their fate, but it will fray at the will and sanity of the readers. Okay, that's a good thing that we got this thing as well, huh? So we could read that and then just immediately cleanse it. Further secrets. Holy! Let's see. You have uncovered a dark record detailing the fate of Apothecary Galen. Uh, but, but, wait, how did he get corrupt? Oh, right. Because of the use of it, but... Let's see. But, uh, reading can confirm critical... Uh, can provide critical insight. It will also cause corruption in all your squads. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's... Okay, I think I... Hmm. Let's see. Two points of corruption, but he was using this, so... Okay, either I'm misunderstanding something, or it's more of a thing that the corruption needs to be there in the first place before it gets removed. Okay. Hmm. Now that would mean... That should mean, then, that the next uh, deployment will take off that corruption, but put two back on. It is a bit annoying, but we can deal with it. So in the meantime, just continue down these paths. But, okay, Thule has something to say on the recovery of the gene seed. Okay. Jonah... Keep you going down the paths of range and energy. With a four-stop equipped, you know, Jonah fires psychic bolts at a greater range, uh, rate and range. Okay. Also good since he's, well, like we said, squishy. So he should be at range. And let's go towards this. Defensive weapons. Basically, that should mean that Sul basically becomes immortal. Since he can just park his ass down to repair and still go on fighting. <laughs> and we'll need to find a moment to put this on him. <laughs> Probably somewhere with multiple vehicles. Uh, you... There. Artillery experts. Uh, and equipment. Missile launch signums. Artillery strike and the cyclone missile barrage consume energy instead. So let's actually put those on him. So there and there. I hope the game doesn't get confused between the different versions of Signum with this, but we'll see. Um, let's, see. Yeah, let's keep going you with that. Probably should put more into health with you. Uh, so become, okay, let's let's actually do that instead. If he <laughs> if he can instantly revive, that's going to make things a lot easier to deal with. Yeah. 
Okay. And yeah, that's a bit annoying to learn that this works differently than I thought, but we can work around it. Uh, let's see. You get melee more. Yeah, for, if it's a four on the next mission, of the, ne of the next mission, you should probably remove the gun. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's still weird that it works differently than thoughts. Actually, let's do that right now. Then after the next mission, he should be fully... Yep. Hold on. Okay. It's... Well, if I put it back off then now... Okay, it shows how it's going to be affected after the next mission, I'm guessing. But if we put that on... Hmm. Okay, let's still keep that unequipped then for now. Put those back on. Yeah, I guess you can't have a, them equipped in that manner for that probably will uh, open up for being a bit OP, I guess. Hmm. Okay, well, in any case, we, ha we still have this in case we just need to get rid of corruption at the end of the game. Let's see, because I think I've said this at the, when the morality system came into play, but as long as you keep out of the full corruption at 24 points, you can still push it back. Yeah, and don't forget your other equipment slots. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what do we have? We had to repair stuff on you. Yeah. Okay. Now, on to the other side mission on Meridian. Or the Iron Cage. Okay. 20% accuracy to user and all nearby allies. Hmm. Hold on. You already have it? Now that's the Iron Cage. What we have is the Terminator armor, the Blessed Cage. Oh. Commander, we've received a priority signal from the Chapter Honor Guard. Okay, let's let let's have a listen to this first. The Master of Scribes found this message. He came to me. He did not know whom else to trust. You must get Diomedes to put a leash on Angelos. He still has us chasing them, and that is putting me at great risk. I am not the only one who will be discovered if it comes to that. Do you understand me, Galen? Knowledge is power, as you are all so fond of saying. This was sent to Calderas and the Honor Guard. Corruption worms its way into the Chapter's heart. You must stand against this. Great. There's some. There's a traitor among the yeah among the honor guards. Yeah. From the sound and of it, it's does it's not Diomedes himself. From the sound of it, though he does want yeah, to speak and, with us. Yeah, I was just say, yeah. Look who wants to talk to us. This is Captain Diomedes. All blood ravens are to cease crusade recruitment and other operations within the Aurelian sector. Return to your muster points and prepare for mobilization to the Ferox Rift Crusade. Knowledge is power. Guard it well. He abandons the sector so easily. How can we follow such a man? We are receiving another priority signal from Captain Angelos. Commander, we must not abandon this sector to the traitor legions. I am headed to Calderas to discuss the matter with Diomedes. Continue to oppose the Black Legion. Angelos out. Gabriel is correct. We must continue. We must find the traitor in our ranks. Yeah. And honor guard or not, they are still of the same rank, so he can't order Angelos around. So if he gives one order and Angelos gives an order after us, well, tough luck. We're following Angelos. <laughs> Let's see. 
Uh, any other things that popped up? Doesn't look like it. Okay, just making sure. This is uh, capital defense. Commander, praise Terra you have come. The Vandis heretics and the Black Legion are overrunning Capital Spire itself. We still hold the Imperial Palace, but they have taken the rest of the Spire. I will die before surrendering the palace to these treasonous curs. Without your aid, Blood Ravens, I will make good on that pledge before long. How did this happen? You have brought us key victories, Commander, but we have been fighting a hundred other battles. The 85th Vendeland and my other loyal troops have all suffered massive casualties. The Black Legion, however, never seems to run out of madmen and demons to throw against us. Loyal forces are converging on Capital Spire, but they will not be here in time to make a difference. Oh, great. Well, it's a good thing that we didn't skip this one because, well, allowing this mission to expire corrupts all squads. Okay, destroy the heretic attackers, defend the palace, a strong defensive line is the key to victory, two squads of Imperial Stormtroopers are yours to command. Okay. Well then, we know who is good for defense. So, Avatus, uh, Zona, back on the bench with you. Avatus gets back in. And let's see, if I recall correctly, this mission will send some vehicles after us. So let's try the multi melter. Uh, double checking everyone thing else. There's no need to give you a different weapon because you already have a strong one. 39 meters. 39 meters. Okay. And nobody has anything. Yep. Okay. Also, he the fact that he now has these two that become energy energy based with this. Yeah, signals of artillery strike and cyclone there. Yeah, if we park Wait, him at the back, hmm? uh, because it, it doesn't count, it doesn't count it as a, an energy thing until we get deployed. I ah, think okay, okay. slash hope. Otherwise, uh, uh, not there. Nope. Uh, just make a save. Just in case this goes bad. Let's see. Choose your uh, yeah, yeah, choose your squads carefully. Like your own squads, enemy forces carry a variety of weapons. In defense, uh, in defending the governor's palace, prioritize target and quickly eliminate enemies targeting the palace itself with heavy weapons. Squad decorators, the icons above each squad, give clues to the... <clears throat> to the squad's weapon loadouts, watch for the grenades, missile, and heavy weapon decorators. Okay. Attention, this is Governor Elena de Rosa. The Blood Ravens are here. The Emperor's angels of death fight with us. Drive the traitors from the palace gates. Okay. okay for, for a moment, I thought that it was. <laughs> for a moment, I thought it was Thule opening up. With an assault gun, but no, it was <laughs> Avatars doing that. Okay, you move <laughs> around before we destroy all of our cover. Tarkas, grenades, you just go smash. Nope. Yeah. Okay, Tarkas. Calm down some expression there. Yo, that's a Holy. There's a lot coming from this way. Uh, Avatars, bring the missiles. You go take a run through their lines. More grenades. Okay, may have been better if I went with more anti-infantry because, well, so freaking many. Tarkus. Okay. 
Okay, you well, need to pull back and reach through. I wish they did look at Memphis if we could do a very good job. Well, it's still a vehicle-based weapon, so yeah, it's going to melt these guys just as easily. Okay. The palace is safe, thanks to your blood ravens, Commander. The Black Legion will not give up so easily, Governor. Prepare for a counterattack. Commander, I have several tarantula turrets ready to deploy. Okay, so I want to get up here and help them. You go be big distraction over there, you there. Avatars can do well in between, and we can set these somewhere. Let's see, Imperial Guard. Okay, and we have another one who are a lot more likely to move from Katakan. Tarkus. Oh, right, I, I pulled you away from re reinforcing. I mean, Katakan? Kill a chan, yeah, good. Nope. You go deal with them quickly. Because, yeah, if this gets destroyed, we lose. So we need to stay, uh, we need to keep them away. Okay. back a bit so Avatus can also keep firing Tarkas forwards mm. we need to keep an eye on the sides here we already lost 15 percent of structural integrity Awesome. This is terrifying. Look, no one's trying to sneak around. You get up front a... and into melee, you dumbass. Is that the moment we basically can say he's firing a death ray? Yep. So let's do a quick repair. Uh, so we have these over here. Oop. The enemy still holds the communications array and Imperial Shrine below the plaza, however. <laughs> Perfect timing. A quick strike could retake them, Commander. Yeah, it would also leave us open to, well, getting overrun. Okay. Can't go into there. It's, well, for one, it's really damaged. For two, there's Terminator armor. I'm pretty sure they can't get in with... With that, okay. Tactical squad repositioning. But yeah, I'm not. No, it would be a lot easier to grab them if we had teleporter jump packs equipped. Wait, don't we? Mm, no, we don't. Let's see. We'll just catch them. Okay, yeah, that definitely hits close as well. Focus those down. Darkus. Go deal with those two. Duel. <laughs> I only got yeeted. Okay. The mirror, holy mega heat ray. Then fire. Okay, back into positions. I want to try and keep a front line so we can not waste these here. Probably going to miss, but still worth a shot. Yep, still got him. Yeah, they are splitting up a lot. Ooh, repair. You deal with the other one, Tarkus. 
Finish this one off. You lot, go help here. Why are you in melee? Okay, for a moment I thought he was down, but no. Don't do Ruben Walk first! Take that thing down quick. Uh, points for efforts, points deducted for stupidity. Get out of melee feeds with the death machine. Okay. Uh, also, someone capture this, please, so we don't have to run back down here. It's not too much of a difference, but still. The enemy has massed for a counterattack on the palace. Stand with the Emperor not only and drive them back. It's not the only thing they're preparing. The will not hold without your aid. Red. Don't forget to put down the, the tarantula things. Mm. I forgot about those. Tarkus, Meltus, you, where the heck are even are you? You're in the middle of it, okay. Drop them in demo charge there, that should keep them busy. There we go. Okay, next one. Yeah, I remember these tanks being an issue. Uh, I think they had one almost down. That one is already is gone. Down. This one is about to join. There we go. Plague uh, even more. Carcass. Demo charge. You guys get those. You. There. And heal. Where are you? In the middle here? Okay, uh, can you deal with this stupid thing doesn't count as a vehicle? Demonic speed. Oh, a bit too late on that, but oh well. God damn it. I can't take that guy out. Imperial Guard is doing quite well. Okay, also go repair Thule. He needs it. Okay, back in action. It is going. Yep, damn it. And that should be that. All of them up. That should be that. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Blood Ravens. Once again, you have saved Meridian. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure that was not intended for them to be, for him to be there, but it's a cool shot all the same. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can see how that could quickly take a turn if you're not equipped to deal with vehicles. Yeah. It hell armor. Let's see the iron cage. Okay. Yeah, two went down, so lower score on that. And well, it was a hard time limit. All, no, not a hard time limit, but still time limited all the same. A bit of a shame that we couldn't grab the uh, <clears throat> we couldn't grab the shrine and such, but oh well. Uh, remember to read the new items. Yeah, only one of interest: the iron cage, fifty percent melee damage resistance, seventy-five percent yeah, knockback resistance, accuracy for all, and one hundred percent suppression resistance. 
Let's see, crafted by the Imperial Fist, his own master of the forge, and gifted to the Blood Ravens for their assistance during the Brill Crusade. This indomitable armor commemorates the Imperial Fist's terrible battle against the Iron Warriors during the Horus Heresy. Okay. Hmm. That might be good for Tarkus or Avatus. Yep, oh, Rosa. Commander, I am forever in your debt. I cannot understand why Captain Angelos and Captain Diomedes refuse to aid us. But in our darkest times, against our most terrible foes, you stood with us. Meridian will never forget this. I will never forget. Wait. Angelos sent us to help you. Yeah, but he couldn't invest more than us without uh, probably getting harangued by the other captains. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Special bolter ammo. Okay. So we'll... There we go. Now you become a mobile turret. Like you weren't already. <laughs> okay. And Jonah, we still just go up this way. That's his attack. When wielding a four staff and equipped with appropriate uh, with the appropriate tomes, Jonah will passively fire smite or ignite soul in combat at no energy cost. Gains access to the tome of the vortex. That sounds interesting. Ooh, that would and, probably reduce the micromanagement. Yeah. And yeah, corruption is gone. Okay. Hmm. So we'll have to see how we might. Now, I still want to use or show off at least some of the corrupted weapons, but we'll have to balance things out a bit more. I don't remember if the best ending is where you have just zero corruption at all, or nobody went is nobody is past four points of corruption. I say, for the sake of our sanity, let's go with zero corruption as possible. Yeah, we still have the uh, the big cleansing thing to you know, get rid of anything we pick up along the way. For now, we have one mission available at this time. So you want to arrive? Okay. No chatter. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh. Let's double check. Is, are we really sure? For Fuda saw another planet having a mission. No, only oh. Aurelia okay, has anything. Wrong, then. Okay, Lord of Chaos. Blood Ravens, hear me. I am Aragos the Pillager, Master of Hounds, the Lash of the Black Legion. You and all your kind are cowards, lowly lickspittles. You must be emulating that pile of bones you call an emperor. You are as dead and useless as him. I am destroying your worlds, Blood Ravens, yet you do nothing. I see your precious craft hanging in orbit above Aurelia. I am here. Face me if you dare. We must destroy this braggart. Also, lick spittles, really? Commander, we cannot allow him to call us. <laughs> And the Emperor, cowards. When we strike at this madman, there can be no falling back or tactical withdrawals. Yeah, issuing a fallback command will cause corruption, so we're going to have to be more careful because if uh, someone is at low health, we'll need to pull them back manually. Also, Let's we see. need Abitus. Yeah. Armored, uh, powerful armored vehicles patrol the area, use anti-vehicle weapons. Plague Marines are in the area. They are slow, but very resilient and deadly up close. So basically, Thule is keeping the Melta, and well, Avid is coming along all the same. And That's we get the Gorgon Plates. Let's see. Enough! I can no longer sit here in orbit while that treasonous filth lives. I swear I will deliver the death blow myself. Uh, good luck with that. Let me see. How is everyone's equipment? We can put away the flamethrower. Let's give you a melter instead. Which of these is better? Also, I just realized I said I was going to sort these, but I forgot to do that, of course. <laughs> uh, clear damage difference, so that one be gone. Okay. 
I'm not too entirely sure if putting Avatus in the in the armor like this makes him more effective than outside of it, because he doesn't seem to be firing as much, even though this thing has a lot higher of an attack speed. Hmm. Or maybe I'm just missing it every time he does. <laughs> it's also possible. Yeah. Let's see. Eliphas and Aragast. It sounds like... Sounds like a, a dark comedy duo. The Black Legion warband assailing the sector follows Aragast the Pillager, a champion of chaos feared for his terrible savagery. Aragast's claim to have ravaged a thousand worlds is no idle boast. At his side is Eliphaz the Inheritor, once a dark apostle of the Wordbearer Legion, a Wordbearer's Legion. He led the chaos invasion of Kronos during the Dark Crusade, seemingly dying at the hands of his demonic masters. Davian Thul commanded the Blood Ravens to defeat at Eliphaz. Sure, I'll be back whenever he has. <laughs> oh dear. In this place has seen better days. Oh, you finally show your faces. Have you mastered your fear at last? We know no fear. Okay, no going this way. So there's only one way to go. Let's see. Tarkas, you might want to stay back a bit since you're the most vulnerable here. You go up front. Oh dear. Okay, there. You blood ravens are clearly fearless in your hurry to leave the sector. The courage with which you show us your hind quarters does your emperor proud. Turncoat scum, I will kill you here and now. Okay. Very impressive. You have more steel than the rest of your muley chapter. Rejoice, brothers. Your slavery to the false emperor ends today. The only thing ending today is your worthless life. Yes, and to the void with orders and niceties. But not quite yet, little blood ravens. First, a test. Make your way to my chosen battleground. Eliphaz, open the portal! Yes, Lord. Of course, he's going to run. Okay, Tarkas, get out. And of course, his test is just fighting through his minions. Okay, melt those. Avatus, focus those. Actually, no, focus down the inventory. That's Tarkas, not Avatus. Actually, bring down some headache on these guys. <laughs> now, he, he seems to fire in much in much more spaced out yeah, spaced out bursts. Hmm. I wonder if there is a way to try a DPS check or something. Because with the heavy boulders, the fire is just continuous. Here there's just a burst, then a pause. Hmm. I do wonder if someone might have done, like, calculations or stuff on this. Because I'm pretty sure the, there's nothing on the, I, on, the, on the assault cannons mentioning that it takes... Uh, a break to uh, there's a break in the fire. Okay. <laughs> so just kicking everything around. Oh dear gods. Okay. 
Now, instead of just going through... Uh, uh, we, we need to go this way anyways. So I, I thought that would be an opening here, but no. And so, yeah. Even if there had been an opening here, it would have been unwise to go through, since then we could get attacked from both sides. Okay. Avatus. Uh, Wait, who has the flamethrower? Yeah, the force commander. Mm -hmm. The targets clear those out. Yep. <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't eaten it yet. <laughs> it's a heavy flame, right? It's a full course meal. <laughs> okay. Can we even... No, we cannot. There's a communications oh. array over there. But we no, can't but capture it, seems. Do you still remember where that you uh, was spawned from? I had no idea, no. <laughs> uh, I remember it was something that you said you wrote it into flamethrower, then... Uh, we will take it. See, or do something? Probably, I yeah. Yeah, what about the game was, but... Uh, Ever since they have had Yeah! That's gonna be an inside joke or whatever you call it, Yeah. Okay. Now, the multi melter barrage, do, or the melter sweep, does need to be aimed differently than the assault barrage, because it, got, it starts from... It starts from Thule, and it only pushes to about where you point, so it's better to, po to aim it behind your target. Whereas the assault barrage is, just covers more of a circular area around where you uh, click. Just bring the headache. <laughs> Marvelous! I will remember you fondly when I burn your worlds to ash! <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, Avatars can be really powerful with those, even though they are costly. Reach level 30, okay. And so why are they up uh, there now? What? The, the achievement pop-ups used to be over here. Yeah! So what, what's not the emotion yeah. there? There's what's the fucker. Do the damn thing. Weird. Get rid of those cultists. Tarkus, pull back. Focus fire. There just seems to be such a long pause between them. Hmm. This whole routine is starting to sound a bit familiar, huh? Commander, look. A way forward. We can finish this yet. Ew. Of course, they teleport in more junkies. Why did I call them? Uh, well, Corn are ba Cornites, <laughs> Chaos Marines are basically blood junkies. Oh, so someone blasts that guy. Of course he moves away. It's a plague marine. <laughs> the face full of melt, that motherfucker. Just memorize him. But that I mean, uh, I memorize uh, the body from any pistol and what we have. Yeah, just super heat the fuck out of him. Speaking of, there's another one here, it seems. And they, these are normal plague marines, not the uh, super plague marines or whatever they are. Fuckers, grenades. Uh, okay, I thought they were going to come in closer still, so that was a bit of a waste. Mm. Okay, something I see here is now... It doesn't actually make him immobile, it just slows him down 
so much that it's well practic it practically makes him mobile but not actually so he's still be he's still able to move a bit but at like 10 percent speed or something he means immobile mm. almost mm. immobile yeah there is a shrine <laughs> ahead it is sure to be well defended but securing it would aid us greatly Okay. Let's see. Two fifty and two hundred. Okay. <laughs> and how much is your max? Four. Yeah, four eighty-eight. Okay. Move back. And that's all. Ooh. So, carcass. Then, boom. <laughs> Pop goes to the dreadnoughts. Okay. Everyone rest up a bit. Freaking demons. Holy. Darkest, gonna have it just fall back a bit so you can actually shoot. Hmm. Here we go. Okay, let's capture this point so we at least have somewhere to regroup if need be because Tarkus has lost someone. More plague marines. Actually, grenade those instead, will you? Okay. It makes sense that flamethrowers don't work too well against, well, targets this heavily armored, so. You get into a fist fight with them for a moment. Actually, why were you back on range damage? Move away. More freaking demons. And there's a tank. Tark is level 30. Okay. What level are these? Like 27. Okay. Okay. Tool, repair. And aim that behind them. Targets, grenades, you go in and punch. Okay. Capture that. Targets, regroup. And let's see. Probably best if we go at this tank from two sides so we can at least get the, the side armor. Okay, there, there, Tarkus, Melta. And that's that dealt with already. <laughs> okay, everyone, just kill everything here. Avatars, bomb them before they finish their... But never mind. Focus down that building. Welcome back. Yes. Yes, I made a modified me. Avatars, why are you in melee? This was close to first one. The demons remain really annoying with what they count as or not. Hmm. 
Just put some move into it. Put some move, put some speed into it. And they're running off. Okay, Thule, go play fetch with it. Fifteen thousand. Okay. And these stupid things don't count as vehicles because I tried to use a Melta on earlier, but I didn't. Yeah, I didn't want to target them. Okay. Plus two redemption from that. Hmm. I'll need to double check when it counts the uh, effects of that. I'm pretty sure the, yeah, the, yeah. I'm pretty sure the use of corrupting items only gets counted at the end of a mission. Hmm. Oh, let's catch that thing off guards. Uh, never mind. Cat. Or mind after all, because that's what got absolutely nuked in a second. Okay, so. Zap it. Tarka's not that close. There we go. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Commander just walking straight through the exploding dreadnoughts. Observe, Blood Ravens. Corn thanks you for your offering. Ooh, get some bombs done on that. Tool, repair. You. Darkus. Okay, that dealt with the bunker without the need of any sling. Grenades. Okay, that, that went a lot better than it could have had, seeing as we were ambushed by freaking tanks. Okay. Now, luckily, they were dumb enough to block their own path with a bunker. Okay. Enemy assault forces spotted. Spotted and getting a headache. Hostile forces spotted. How can we serve? <laughs> the forecast, heavy rain. Heavy caliber rain. <laughs> heavy rain of pain. Ooh, that's the fact. Heavy rain of pain. Yep. And bye-bye. <laughs> I might actually have been ready with the sound fine there. There we go. Hmm. We keep pushing down the side because going through the middle would get us attacked from both sides, probably. Okay. okay. That Melta Cannon is no joke. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'd still prefer the assault cannon just for. You <laughs> mean? <laughs> yep. You need to train you to rule your oars, my friend. You, you go distract uh -oh. that. Put a melt off its tailpipe. No, never mind. It's already. <laughs> it's already pretty much dead. Are they running their old dreadnoughts at us or something to try and get them destroyed? Okay. Okay, seems they're all gone. Yep, we, I find it really annoying that demons just don't seem to have a specific class. 
or, or a defined enough clarification as to what class they are. Like, the normal ones I can see working out as just normal infantry, but the big ones, the ones that are, well, actively riding things along, why do those not count as vehicles or such? Like, I get it that, well, in parts, you know, the, the things they're riding are made of metal and such, so they would or should count as vehicles. Well, it's made of living metal. I, I think some organs are inside them. Still makes it annoying that there is no specific counter. Now you die. Caucus. Now show me deeds. Okay, why does Tarkus keep running into the combat with it? Or no, he has to melt them. What what is damaging you, Thule? Focus fire. And grenades. Actually, you get into the building there. Actually, Tarkus, pull back. Okay, he's pulling the minion master stuff. Okay, the commander can keep him busy, just knocking him on his ass continuously. And then the rest deal with uh, his fan club. I've actually completely forgotten if you can turn the camera in this game or not. <laughs> like, typically you should be able to. Yeah, so no time to just try and be the cool guy. Just melt this guy's face. surprising at all. Now he's going full out. Get up close, you dumbass. He's on the stark. Oh, and it's too late to move away. Yep. So, chase after him. Oh, pull back. Okay, almost done. I have to point that completely the wrong way. No escape this time. And there we go. One chaos champion away for the moment. And we get the Gorgon plates. Let's see. 25% range damage resistance, okay. Okay. We missed a few of them, but while well, we played this smarter instead of dumber. Okay. And uh, levels for everyone but Jonah. Let's see. Suffering's Den. 10 per, uh, yeah, plus 10 energy regen for all nearby allies. And when hits, 100% chance to heal all nearby allies for 5 health. Okay. Forged by a mad tech priest from the armors of fallen traitors near the end of the Horus Heresy, this foul armor reacts to the pain of those around it. Each pulse of suffering strengthens the armor and the doomed battle brother within it. 
and just a normal bolter. Bionic implants donate to increase. Okay, increase strength by two. Bionic enhancements add still greater strength and power to the Space Marine. Okay. And the Gorgon Plate. Blessed by the Tech Marines of Forge World Griffin, this holy plating is laced with solar reflective materials that can disperse high energy last cannon and plasma bolts. Honored Robinas of the Crimson Fists was the last red not to use this plate. Okay. Another quote unquote gifted piece. A fitting death for a leader of traitors. True, but what game is Eliphaz playing? Bah, he is greedy and honorless scum. He saw his chance to gain power and he took it. And the prospect of Eliphaz with more power somehow reassures you? Commander, another transmission from Captain Diomedes of the Honor Guard. He has declared Gabriel Angelos a renegade and orders our return to Calderas. I have also uncovered additional information about Apothecary Galen and his expedition aboard the Judgment of Carrion. Well, that's no good. <laughs> Seeing as we were acting on Angelos's orders. Yeah, we have three shots we should probably read up on. Yeah. Or Let's here. begin with uh, the dreadnoughts. Okay, Martellus. Preserve us. What happened to Galen himself? He serves with the Chapter Honor Guard. So, yeah, it goes straight up to the top. Oh, dear. Blood Ravens, take heed. For the grievous sins of refusing Chapter Orders, spreading heresy, Raising arms against his one-time brothers, and stealing relics, arms, and artifacts from the chapter. Gabriel Angelos is hereby declared an enemy of the chapter, and sentenced to death. The renegade Angelos has fled, absconding with the battle barge Litany of Fury. I, Captain Apollo Diomedes, issue this declaration with full authority from Azariah Kyrus. Chapter Master of the Blood Ravens and Keeper of the Librarium. Knowledge is power. Guard it well. And it looks like he's acting to save his own ass. Azari Kyrus, that is. And he's using Diomedes as his pawn. Willing or unwilling, we'll have to see. Oh dear. Okay. Continue down that path with you. Strike with me. When the commander kills an enemy, all nearby allies gain a temporary increase in their melee damage. Okay, would be useful with uh, Thaddeus around, but otherwise not so much. Uh, Let's see. I feel like we probably need to give you some proper melee weapons at this point. Yeah, because uh, there's only the... Yeah, that's a bit of an issue with the random drops of this game. Like, the, the, the Hand of Fury is nice for just knocking someone around an entire arena, but it doesn't really do too much damage. 
Anyway, so Tarkas got Stern Guard Squad, uh, Stern Guard Squad. Tarkas leads a squad of elite veterans specialized in line combat. His presence demoralizes nearby enemies. He may also equip specialized bolter ammunition. That's very vague what, what it does. So I'm guessing that means that he has a chance of getting, well, something extra with bolter guns. Let's see, which is the... Oh, that one is really underpowered compared to the rest, so bye-bye. That one as well. And yeah, I'm... Again, I would have liked it if they gave more explanation on some stuff. A reduced range. That's actually not too bad with him, since he act, uh, that will mean that he also gets in close for the grenades all the same. But probably better to replace that with something else sooner or later then. Avatus. Let's see. Focus fire increases the range of allies' weapons and triggers special bonuses when combined with command supremacy, force commander, and tactical supremacy, Tarkus. Okay. Hmm. Well, we want you to have more... <clears throat> we want you to have more uh, energy all the same. And it looks like level 30 is the maximum. Okay, so those can't get any more points anywhere. But we still have Thule, Cyrus, Thaddeus, and Jonah who can get levels. So let's see... Let's move you to there. Cyrus, you continue to go down that line, even though you haven't been deployed in quite a while. Hmm. Actually, let's put those off of you and onto the commander, since he is, well, fully focused into melee. And let's see, Merciless Assault. Uh, merciless Strikes becomes a short jump or teleport, which knocks over any units in the way and deals a devastating strike on landing. Okay, yep. Merciless Strike is basically Thaddeus' uh, signature move here. <clears throat> and that's that, uh, big, uh, that big strong attack that uh, he has been doing every so often when we bring him along. Okay, how are we in missions? Just a single one. Okay. Well, let's head on over then. Commander, the judgment of Carrion's logic engine confirms our suspicions. The encoding rights used by our traitor and in Galen's logs both bear a marked resemblance to those of the chapter Honor Guard. With a copy of their codes, I could finally identify the traitor. Well, Commander, to finally identify our traitor, we must obtain the transmission codes of the Chapter Honor Guard. To do so, you must penetrate to the heart of the Blood Raven's firebase and destroy the stronghold of Captain Diomedes. This will trigger an automatic signal from his battle barge, from which I can gain the codes we need. Between us and those codes stand both the Honor Guard and our own brothers from the Third and Fourth Companies. Yeah, this is going to be as close to treason as could be, but since we have plenty of, well, maybe not strong evidence, but plenty of things telling us that the honor guards are, well, traitors, it blurs the line just enough, I'd say. Yeah, and uh, they will talk, it seems, uh, our characters. Yeah. What of their defenses? The entire area is patrolled by our chapter brothers. They will fire on us without hesitation. Only stealth and non-lethal attacks can prevent bloodshed. Diomedes has established a perimeter of satellite bases. Field generators and automated tarantula sentry guns are standard issue for such temporary positions. Okay. What are the honor guard's orders? Captain Diomedes adheres to the chapter's tactical doctrines. The Codex calls for a tactical feint when a satellite position is destroyed. Nearby forces fall back to a strong firing line, either drawing their attackers into the teeth of bolter fire or calling in artillery. If we destroy the field generators, we can use this to push through the perimeter without killing blood ravens. Yeah, that's going to be the, stra uh, the strategy. And yeah, we yeah. need to destroy the on the guard strongholds, but killing loyal blood ravens will cause corruption. 
Let's see. What has fool to say? Empathius. The heretic apothecary Galen is nearby, Commander. We cannot leave a servant of chaos in the honor guard. We must confront and expose him. Or his evil will continue to infect the chapter. Empathius. We must find a way to reach that stronghold without killing blood ravens. Some blood ravens have fallen to chaos. Then we fight and kill those. But to murder those simply doing their duty to chapter an emperor, could we ever recover from such an act? Okay, bit of a difference between what's said and written, but yeah, he has a point. We need to be smart about this attack. So the one who is the dumbest is going getting sent back. And you are not going to and be mobile enough for this. Yeah, we need you and... Oh, yeah. I thought we need you for this one. Yeah, he's not required, I think. Yeah. Commander, uh, but we're like, did, didn't you have a, anything to help itself? Uh, he does, yeah. Let me double check. What was it again? The Tome of Mist, I believe. Also, anything that's better at the moment, 65. Enhances Ignite Soul. Okay. Uh, but this one was the plus energy, yeah. Okay, let's put that on instead. Uh, let's see, Quickening. Highly Accelerated Movement. Tome of Mist. Render a unit invisible. Okay. The pages of this tome appear blank to all but those ready to understand them. Using these veiled rites, the librarian can cause a person to vanish from sight. Okay, there. We'll keep those. Um, okay, we'll need... Actually, you have the detonation packs already. Cyrus, since you're coming along, we're moving these to you. And... Actually, you can use stuff... Well, yeah, can use accessories while infiltrated without being detected. So, Tarkas, give up the C4000. Hand it over. And since Thule isn't coming along, that can stay back. Oh, okay, this is the, these are the special rounds Tarkas can use. Let's see. Vengeance rounds. Increased effectiveness against vehicles and buildings. Employing unstable flux core technology. These bolters are effective against armored targets. And Dragon Firebolts, AoE Explosion on Impact, good versus targets in cover. These hollow bolter shells explode with a gout of superheated gas that make a mockery of cover. <laughs> okay. Ooh, wait. Oh, right, we didn't check this out. Tome of the Vortex, grants Vortex of Doom, pulls enemies into Vortex. Gesundheit. <laughs> Featuring arcane, okay. featuring arcane maps of the currents of the Immaterium, this tome allows the librarian to open a swirling rift into the warp, pulling his enemies to their doom. Okay. Hmm. Do we bring Tarkas? Since he is more... Hmm. We need to be able... Our primary objective is to destroy the firebase, so vehicle damage, not vehicle building damage. Uh, let's see. Avatars would actually be pretty good for that. But I think Cyrus and the detonation packs should be a lot enough. Or demolition packs. And yeah, let's let's shelf Tarkus for the moment and get Jonah instead. This will probably be like the first time in a long time that we don't bring him along. Yeah. That's okay. gonna feel weird. Okay. Let's see. Apollo Diomedes. Captain Apollo Diomedes commanded the Blood Ravens' first company for almost two centuries. He led the, ch the, he led the chapter's elite with honor and skill. Diomedes' most famous victory came on the ravaged penal world of Obscurus. On the same day, he and his brothers defeated the orc war boss Manstomp a Mega Killer. <laughs> That's an orc name if ever there was one. And the Chaos Sorcerer. Anuferas the Cruel. 
After his victory, Diomedes was elevated to the command of the chapter master's own honor guard, becoming Azariah Kaiser's most public agent among the chapter's far-flung battle brothers. Remember, proceed cautiously and target the field generators. We are here to recover data, not kill blood ravens. Okay. Assault squad ready to deploy. I probably should have checked Cyrus's gear, but yeah, this is more a stealth mission than a combat mission. Oh, right. Killing Gina and his turns with the Oh, that's we can kill the his terminators. Yeah. Yep. Fall back to defensive positions. Now, move forward while the way is clear. Okay. I think it's actually been quite a t quite a bit of time since we've been on this planet. Uh, Resistance lost a stream. Chapter against chapter. Or? Hmm. Not that way. Okay. I probably. Sh yep. I should probably send Cyrus out to scout. Say it now. My judgments are passed in shadow. Hmm. Oh, it's soldiers. We're trying to get a precise count. Okay, that way is going to be blocked. Hmm. Getting a better vantage. Okay, Thaddeus. Up there. Let's see. Oh, hello. Yes, maintain camouflage Hmm. Okay, I think we'll have to sneak Cyrus through. What is this doing here? Okay, that's just a turret, so we can destroy that. Uh, but, why are you two moving forwards? Or did those get close enough to draw their attention? Thaddeus, focus that down. Okay. And they, they, poor, they planned this out really poorly. Clear, you know, Clear the target area. With how their uh, defense, yeah, with how their defenses, with how their generators are up the front, up front with it. Ooh. Stay out of their way. Okay, we're full on that. Reposition. Okay. Teleport in and start hammering. Hammer time! <laughs> Thunder hammer time. <laughs> Incoming artillery strike. Clear the target area. Yes, I know. Fun hammer would not make that sound, but I could not resist. <laughs> Okay, it seems that we can kill some loyal blood ravens, but we should still try to avoid it as much as possible. Okay. Cyrus, refill your energy for a moment, and then we're going to just sneak in and drop a demolition pack there. Be vigilant. Hmm. Perhaps I should have given you a shotgun so you wouldn't start attacking right away. Or so you won't start attacking right away. Hmm. Okay, I think that'll be enough. Okay, just drop that right there, and everyone here should start running. Yep. Okay. Okay, let's quickly get that thing in. Yep. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Oh, poor love of. Okay, that just means that we'll have to use Thaddeus instead to push them back. 
But that's quite a line to walk through to get there. Hmm. Assault squad on the way. Okay, they pushed back from here. Okay, I think it was them that spotted Cyrus by just jumping in like that, so that was <laughs> unfortunate. Okay, just wait for them to move away. There we go. Okay, since they're in Terminator armor, they should be able to tank most of the damage they'll receive along the way. Enemy heavy weapons in sight. Yeah. Yeah, not, oh. not heavy enough. <laughs> Destroy it. Okay. We'll definitely not want to not destroy a dreadnought of all things. Forward. Um. Okay. Let's send them all running. So go pick up Cyrus, who's probably feeling embarrassed as all hell. And we push forwards. Commander and Jonah can join up. Because they should be gone from here. Big Evans, I'm sure. Okay, yeah. All in the clear. Welcome back. Okay, I'm going to presume that it was a <laughs> sneeze. I don't know what it was, actually. <laughs> okay. Cyrus, go sit here so you can get resupplied. Or, or regrouped more. Okay. What was that? Did it push something? Yeah. I had a bit of old chair, I would guess, uh, if I sat down it. Uh... The chair farted? Yeah, but it's a recliner. You know, not leather or anything like that. <laughs> Just cloth, so it was not that. Hey, I almost sneezed was. myself. Yeah, I've actually been sneezing a lot today. Let's see. Get rid of the turret. We'll foot the bill some other time. The Emperor's light is my torch. Okay. That is. A hop and a skip. Hello, brothers. So glad you've come to see me. I assume you uncovered our mutual friend's mutiny message from the retribution. A foolish misstep. But that is something of a pattern with blood ravens, I suppose. Shall I kill you now? Yeah. That is focus those that thing down, not the initiates, or Cyrus will never <laughs> let you sleep for the rest of your life. Why are you in melee again? Yeah, Terminators. Okay. Also, I know this Chaos Squad he fell to already. Which one then? Nurgle. Aerial assault, go! Thaddeus, pull back. You're not Thaddeus. Why do I... <laughs> Jonah. It's the one that doesn't end in an us. And I've confused them somehow. <laughs> okay, I think that was the example of a, Termin of a Terminator 5 <laughs> dancing. 
they, they were just moving back and forth for some reason. And Cyrus gets the last hit, I think. himself has he fallen no but his pride blinds him we get ravenous okay and now to deal with uh, actually we I'm not even sure if we'll need to deal with the armies himself since we can just sneak in plant some explosives as long as he doesn't get close enough to actually detect him that is no. get your scouts and we can get moving okay I think at some point I probably should do a full chaos uh, playthrough of this game at some point because I've never done that okay everyone waits Cyrus, sneak modes. <laughs> and he jumps in even though technically we should not be able to be detected. <laughs> okay. It's getting close enough. Okay, everyone focus that thing down. Cyrus. Get in there. Cyrus, get in there quickly. Everyone else, just burn this thing down. But don't kill that. Don't kill the Amides. Of course, it's just far enough. Okay, get back out. Yeah, and that was to be expected when you're putting a scout against a Terminator. Where we need it. Fall back to a secure position. Okay, well this we'll have to keep scratching the pa the paints. Okay, as long as the Omidy survives it's good. Was it a turret that uh, spotted him? Because Cyrus should be able to stay sneaky even whilst uh, deploying explosives and such. Jonah, back. Yep, never mind. Okay, just keep scratching the paint. <laughs> eventually, it, eventually Apollo will find it too ugly to call his own. Actually, get him up. And immediately back down. Open your eyes, Captain. We fight to preserve the chapter. You abandon our worlds to the Black Legion. You surround yourself with heretics like Galen. Do not lecture me, Sergeant. I follow the orders of our Chapter Master, Kyrus. You are the only heretics I see here! Have Kyrus and Galen told you of their time on the Judgment of Carrion, Captain? Have they shared stories of the deaths of their brothers? Or the demonic voice of Ulcare that plagued them? Ulcare? Where did you hear that name? From Galen, Captain. Go from here.
Yeah, even he is not uh, blind enough to, to ignore that evidence. Though, how does he know of Ulcare? Yeah. Okay. Continue. Yeah. It's a good thing we have this one low, huh? <laughs> kind of, okay. yeah. Level for Jonah and Thule. Now, Ravenous. Once the Holy Blade of Blood, uh, of Blood Raven's Apothecary Galen, this ancient chain sword has soaked too long in the blood of its creators. The blade itself thirsts for violence, forcing the... <clears throat> Forcing its ravenous appetite upon all who wield it. And gold, golden armor of the custodies. Okay. Plus 25 range damage resistance can't be knocked back. Suppression resistance, melee damage, range damage, and 100% chance to heal a nearby enemy, nearby allies for five health. That's a strong one. That's going on to Tarkas, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's see. Among the most revered artifacts of the chapter, this magnificent armor is believed to have been worn by one of the Emperor's guards when they boarded Horus's battle bars, the Vengeful Spirit, at the culmination of, uh, culmination of the Horus Heresy. The very presence of this artifact on the battlefield can rally the faithful, allowing them to shrug off even the most grievous of wounds. So yeah, e even the custodies aren't safe from the, <laughs> the Blood Ravens' grubby hands. <laughs> what the heck? Let's see, and another gift of the artificers. Yeah. We should probably use the first one just to see what we get with it. Commander, I have recovered the codes we needed. So, who is the traitor? The decoding rights needed to identify him are not yet complete. The codes did allow me to uncover additional data from the judgment of Carrion, however. I believe I know where the Black Legion's true base of operations is hidden on planet Aurelia. Okay. Galen's doom, or no, Galen's doom. You faced Apothecary Galen in combat and killed him, freeing him from the foul demon who was possessing him. He corroborated the records you found. It seems the Chapter Master himself, Azariah Kyrus, has fallen into chaos as well. Okay. Uh, opened eyes of Diomedes. You faced Captain Diomedes on Calderas and ultimately he allows you to leave. Telling him of Kairos and Kalen's time aboard the Judgment of Carrion, succumbing to the demon Alcare may have just have awakened the hero of the chapter to the corruption around him. Yeah. And Martellus has more to say. The Honor Guard's codes unlocked a great deal from the Judgment of Carrion's logic engine. This record from Apothecary Galen seems especially relevant. Librarian Kairos grows more morose by the hour. He is a mighty asset against the things lurking in this ancient space hulk. But he does little to keep our faith strong. At morning prayers he recounted a great battle on a lost world named Aurelia. A terrible demon beset this planet and summoned the mighty warp storms. Blood Ravens faced the demon in a terrible battle at a chapter keep. This should have inspired us all. But Kairos made it a tale of woe. He described his brothers dying one by one to bind this demon, but called their sacrifice pointless. The fiendish creature, he said, was yet free. And somehow, even before Kairos mentioned it, I knew this creature's name, Old Care. A demon bound in the keep on planet Aurelia. Surely Eliphas seeks its release. I share your thoughts, Librarian. I can locate the Keep's remains if we return to Aurelia. Well... That explains uh, why the planet went uh, poof into the warp. Uh, let's see what we're on time. Yeah, I don't really have enough time to make an do another mission. Yeah, ten minutes. Let's see. Fiery Doom. Thule's Melto has the yeah, Melto Sweep ability is enhanced, causing more damage over a wider area. And Jonah, Wrath, at the time, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we already had the tome, but now he, now he can actually use it. Uh, where, there it is. Okay, I'm a bit curious to see that get used. Hmm. But for now, yeah, we don't have enough time for another mission, I think. But let's at least take a look at what we get with this. 
Let's see. The first gift of the artificers. Either a thunder hammer, missile launcher, sniper rifle, four swords, plasma gun, lightning claw, or multi melter, or power fist assault cannon. Actually, should we should we turn this in for an assault cannon for Avatus? Since I think his current one might be a little un, a little underpowered, or it, it might seem like that because of well, it's a for one, it's a, just a normal one. Hmm. Let's see if we can get him a better one. For that yeah. might be easier, but he might be using a regular assault cannon. Okay. And let's see. The second one will give the same or give a similar thing for every, actually no. It this one's a power axe, heavy bolter, combat shotgun, force staff, bolter, lightning claw, and again multi melter. <laughs> for some reason they only want to give Thule multi melters with this. <clears throat> But yeah, Avatus. Let's see. Cannon of Wrath. Not too much more damage. Yep. Really? Plus 20 melee damage on an assault cannon? <laughs> okay. And it's, still, uh, hmm? it's still better. Yeah, not too much better, but okay. Wait. Maybe he could have put down a safe before we used it, but oh well. Wait, Actually, now I'm not sure. percent bonus in melee damage? What? Yeah, that, that's just <laughs> that's just weird. On since he's supposed to be in the back line, and nine percent chance to get nine energy on a hit. Hmm. Counterweights built into this assault can help increase the effectiveness of the, of the Terminator in close combat. I guess it makes for a good fallback, but we'd still rather be have the enemies be at the end of that thing and not uh, at the end of that oh you was he's about to break that or do a moonwalk or something let's see golden armor with the astartes tarkas oh yeah that, that is a massive upgrade <laughs> with extra gold of course because it wouldn't be an Astartes armor if it didn't have like 50% gold in weight. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. I think for now, actually, what did it give? Lightning claws. These are basic lightning claws. So maybe giving that to the commander would give us better ones. Uh, you have the Staff of Jove. Hmm. It seems we are rather light in actually like level 30-ish gear. Like 17, 24, 27. Okay, that's but that's corrupted. I think I'll yeah, I think I'll leave the game on for a bit longer after we're done. And I'll just sort everything by level. Alright. And yeah, let's see. I th I think this multi-melter should be good for him still. And we'll see what we can exchange this one for. I think there's a third one you can get. Mm. Uh, yeah, we'll see what we do with that. I'm thinking we'll give it to the commander, most likely, but we'll see if we get anything better than what he has equipped or not. So for now, save and return to main menu. And yeah. Uh, that'll be it for today, but before we go, we're going to look for someone to raid. So, leaving the game open. I mean, cannons. Okay. Should Close this off. Dust? Hail? Yeah, I just closed off this yeah, the, pre yeah, the, the preview window. So, uh, what? You ended the screen share. Yeah, because that was the only thing getting screen shared. So I'll switch it over to oh. the browser, go live. And let's see who are online. Quite a few people, a, a lot of people are online. So let me just take a few highlights out of this. Uh, let's see. Uh, Cider Delish is streaming Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. <clears throat> Shanker Crab is back after a long ass uh, time away. I. Not sure why he was away for such a time, but he is back recently. Uh, they're playing Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green. Pika is online playing League of Legends. We raided Grim the Wolf last time. Jimmy McGinger is still playing Crosscode, but again, I want to avoid all possible spoilers on that. 
The Cyrus here is back to Dave the Diver again. Okay. And let's see. Uh, Sloop Tube is playing RimWorld. Weird Romance is online. Haven't seen them in a bit, I think. They're playing Lies of Pi. Okay. Uh, any others did you see among here that would be interesting to raid? Or shall I take a pick? Uh, let, it, let you take a pick. I am rather sleepy. Okay. Uh, I, uh, first off, I'm going to double check that the thing is actually muted. Uh, which it isn't. Okay, there we go. Let's go give Shanker Crab a, a, a visit since it's been a long ass time. So copy name, channel, no stupid ads this time. Okay, now slash rate, paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you Sensei Tadpole for lurking. And uh, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. Thank you all for joining. Yeah. Uh, no streams tomorrow, likely, like because we basically streamed on every single day of this week so far, so we do need somewhat of a break. <laughs> yeah, and we did a double on Wednesday. Uh, yeah. AKA yesterday. <clears throat> and yeah, tomorrow and on Sunday, we will... Actually, tomorrow I'm not so sure about. We might go out for dinner. So... I'll leave that as a maybe for streams, at least on the evening. In the afternoon, we'll continue with Deadbolt. Wait, and on Friday? No, not, not tomorrow, Saturday, Saturday. <laughs> I thought was something was a bit off. It's on Saturday that uh, we're, we're likely to go out for dinner. So yeah, at the very least, probably Deadbolt in the afternoon, maybe Deadlight in the evening. And yeah, showcase Sunday on Sunday in the afternoon, and we'll see what we'll do in Sunday evening. Uh, maybe LA Noir, maybe, well, either Deadbolt or Deadlight, depending on which of those needs to be finished. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we'll need to find a new side game to play. <laughs> we should have a few. Uh, true. Uh, we'll have to look over the list of the shorter games, but for now... Let's get that raid started. And yeah. Uh, thank you everyone. Thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe everyone. Watch out for haunted seagulls and nerdlings.